Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing UFC 163 right now with our uh, regular returning guest, Nick Kalikas. He is a professional MMA odds maker for various sports books, and his website is MMAOddsBreaker.com. Nick, thanks for being back with us. Always a pleasure. All right, UFC 163. We'll start out by talking about main event Aldo and Chan Sung Jung. Before we get to that, just give us, you know, for five seconds, Anderson Silva knockout. Do you think it was fixed or not fixed? That's ridiculous. They even say it was fixed. I mean, ridiculous. all those that are saying that have no idea anything about the sport, in my opinion. It's poor judgment. Um, there's no way that fight was fixed. Okay. All right. Chan Sung Jung and Jose Aldo. Now, Jung, of course, replaced, replacing uh, injured Anthony Pettis here. And Aldo, right now, minus 700 at five dimes. Chan Sung Jung, plus 500 on the other side. Another one of these title fights with a huge, huge favorite. What can you say about Aldo? 15-fight win streak, you know, including four defenses as the UFC champ. Just awesome. Premier striker, awesome takedown defense. The only areas where Chan Sung Jung, maybe people are saying he has, uh, maybe he's a little bit competitive with Aldo would be in uh, BJJ and in cardio. But, you know, Jung just got crushed by George Roop. He got pounded by Leonard Garcia. Uh, Josie Aldo, he's going to crush him, right? Should be. That's why you're seeing the line so high. I mean, right. seven to one. I opened it around five to one. Um, it, you you got to give Jung respect, though. I mean, he looked amazing in that Poirier fight, and he's looked amazing in uh, of quite a few performances throughout his career. And what amazes me the most is that uh, he just continues to improve his confidence level. Mm -hmm. Everything about Jung's game continues to improve. So that's a scary factor here in this fight. But the way they match up, you're absolutely right. Um, Jose Aldo should really roll in this fight. All right for sure. All that being said, do you think that uh, Jung actually does have? a chance to win here? I mean, do you think there's maybe a still value with Aldo at minus 700, or do you think the lines are about right where they are? No, I mean, there's no way I would lay 7-1. to one. I mean, nope. on any fight, honestly. Uh, in this fight, no. I think the p line got kind of bet up a little bit. I'm not saying there's value on Jung, though, either. Mm -hmm. um, because, like I said, the way they match up, it's just, just a hard fight for Jung. I don't think he's going to be able to get the takedown, obviously, and that's what he needs to do here. Um, even if he does get the takedown, Jose Aldo's going to be hard to hold down. His BJJ is legit. Like you said, both of them have a tremendous uh, jiu-jitsu game. So it's really a hard fight to bet because I don't see no value either way, and I do think the line between 5, 6, 7-1 to one is about accurate. All right, so then if it were Aldo minus 400, you would say there's value with Aldo then? Probably. If it does dip below uh, 5 to 1 or so mm -hmm. with my original open, yeah, I would say there's a little bit of value there because I don't expect Jose Aldo to lose. I mean, it's in Brazil to boot, so it, all the advantages definitely belong to Aldo in this fight. What about the total then? Here uh, I'm seeing 3.5 right under minus 180 over 3.5 plus 150. Uh, maybe there's some value with the under here because, you know, Jung likes to, he likes to pressure, he likes to push the pace, he likes to stand and trade, and uh, he might get caught early, and if he does win, maybe he catches uh, Aldo one way or another, maybe under 3.5, minus 180, what do you think? There could be some value there, because I don't expect the fight to go five rounds, but I, mm -hmm. you know what, I think it's going to be pretty ballpark to that total there, um, so it's going to end in round three or four, so I'm leaning towards the under as well, but again, laying 180 or so, it's kind of steep, and mm -hmm. uh, to, out, uh, to count out Jung, I'm sorry, that much, uh, it's probably a little bit unfair as well, because he's a tough SOB, I mean, definitely, right. Aldo's going to land on him, that's a problem, that's why we all think that it's going to go under, because he's probably going to get the knockout, um, but that being said, I mean, Jung got this title shot for a reason, a lot of people don't agree with it, but he's definitely earned his way up the ladder, put it that way. I mean, he's shown he can take a lot of punishment, that's for sure. You know, he's not going to be an easy knockout. Exactly. I mean, it, see, it's hard to tell. I mean, especially with Jose Aldo, he can go out there and floor him in a minute. Right. Or, you know, he can floor him in round three. So it really all depends, yeah. But I do think that Jung's going to show up to fight. And it's going to be interesting because if it goes the distance, I think obviously Jose Aldo does have a tendency to fade as fight goes on, as the fight goes on, especially in a matchup like Jung because Jung's going to be looking for those takedowns, looking to clinch with him as much as possible. So he's going to kind of try to wear Aldo out. I don't think he's going to have the success, obviously, but that's going to be his game plan. So if it does kind of – if Jung hangs in there early on at least – it's going to be interesting as the fight goes on for sure, but even if it goes to decision, Jose Aldo probably cruise to that decision as well. Right. I mean, that's the thing. Three of Aldo's four uh, uh, title defenses did go to the distance, so that makes me uh, a little bit nervous on taking the under three and a half. What about just like an Aldo first round knockout? I mean, you know, Jung, like I said, he got crushed by Roop, crushed by, Le by, uh, by Garcia, and uh, Aldo is a much better striker than both of those guys, right? Yeah, I mean, taking a small flyer or something like that, I wouldn't uh, blame you at all because there's a good chance that he, he could drill him in round one, and that could be it, like you said. So taking a small flyer. I mean, not a serious bet, though, by any means. All right, so are you going to get a lot of action on this fight? I mean, do you think you're going to wind up needing one fighter uh, one way or the other? Well, we're probably going to end up needing an upset here. I know we're going to draw a lot of straight action mm -hmm. on Jung um, mm -hmm. because he's a decent-sized underdog, but the parlays is, is going to be the problem. Right. I mean, everybody's going to load up Jose Aldo in those parlays. So we're probably going to need Jung to come through regardless. All right. So it probably sounds like it's going to be a pass for you personally. If you had to bet this fight one way or another on a prop, the distance, whatever, uh, what would it be? 
Nick Lee. If I had to absolutely bet it, yeah. probably Aldo inside, depending on what that line is. But you're gonna, you should obviously get a way better uh, line than seven to one. Right. My official bet, I think it would be under three and a half rounds of minus one eighty. What do you think of that, Nick Leakus? That's not bad. Not bad at all. Like I said, it's it's kind of borderline there for me, um, but I would lean that way as well. So not a dumb bet. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Thanks, Nick. 